Hello, welcome to Makeup Monday. I'm Angela Tierney. And I had some requests for going over Mascara Beauty's brushes. And so I'm gonna go over each brush today and tell you why they're so amazing <laughs> and what each one does. And because I celebrated my first year birthday with Mascara Beauty, um, I want to give one of those brushes away today. So if you are interested in winning one of these brushes, all you have to do is like, share, and comment on this video. So, okay, my connection was weird. Okay, hopefully it's okay. When you come on, just tell me if my connection's good. And if you're watching the replay, welcome to Makeup Monday, and thank you for watching the replay and chime in with whatever videos you'd like to see. So I've had requests for the brushes, I've had requests for um, different eye shapes, and so if you have a request for a video, just put it here and I'd be happy to do it. Okay, so one thing I wanna say about Mascara Beauty's brushes is they are high quality professional brushes. And Mascara Beauty does something with their brushes that I've never seen anyone else do. And, oh, my ring light's not on. I wonder why it's dark. Hello. <laughs> now I can see. Um, they have a one-year warranty on their brushes, which is really unheard of. I've never heard of any other company guaranteeing their brushes for that long. And I've had brushes for two years, and they're in mint condition. So we're going to go over each one today. And I'm gonna start with this one. This is called the Buffy brush. This is the newest brush that came out this past year that can do everything, but it does provide full coverage. So if you're someone who's looking for full coverage, this Buffy brush is for you. And it's so nice because look how packed these bristles are, but they're extremely soft. And with this brush, very, very little product because I'll show you. And I'm going to also explain, as I'm going through the brushes, I'm gonna explain how to apply the makeup with them because with this brush, I don't swirl the product on or swipe it on, I actually kind of press it on and I'm going to show you that now. So this color I'm about to use, hello, is that Tina? So this brush, I just press the makeup onto the skin like this, and just little pressing motions. And that gives the most full coverage that we have. And watch how much product I'm putting on here. I don't wanna blind you, I've got, I still have makeup in my clutch from last weekend. So you just make sure I'm getting the right color. I'm just pressing it in there, picking, look how much it picks up. That's what I mean, you just don't need much. Look how that just put it quite a bit in that spot. Okay, so that is the Buffy brush. Okay, with this brush you can also, so you can highlight, which is what we call our foundation, so I just put highlight here, and that's candle it. And then with the small side, you can contour, all places contour. You can even, see how it's got that kind of a angle right there? So with the small end, you can contour your nose. So this brush can do all of that. Um, I've never used it for blush, I guess you could pat your blush in with it, but most of our brushes, well, they're just very versatile, so you can do whatever you want with them. I'm just giving you some ideas, and then if you get it and learn something new, share it with me. But there's no right or wrong way to really use them. I'm just going to go through them. All right, that was the Buffy. This is the um, B Squared or Blush and Bronzer brush. So obviously it does blush and bronzer. This side is for blush and this side is for bronzer. It can also be for your powder as well, but you can also do your highlight with this. I'm not seeing any comments, so if you're commenting, I don't see any yet. So if you're, I see there's a few people here, so if you don't mind commenting, hey Ash, I see your hearts, but I don't see comments. So tell me if you're here. Okay, so that's the Buffy brush doing that. Okay, good, I'm glad you're here. And then on this side, I'm going to use the blush and bronzer brush to show you. This gives a lighter coverage than this. And with this, you can kind of swipe it and buff it because of the way it's made. It's just softer and moves the product. But you can see that's a lighter coverage than this. So if you're looking for lighter coverage, you don't have a lot to cover and you want something quick, 
this is a good go-to brush for that. You could contour with this if you wanted to. You could pinch this and do your contour with it. Um, it'd be a little tricky, but you could do the contour on your nose with it. Let me see if I wrote anything else down about this that I wanted to tell you. No, I think that's it. So I will use this um, in other ways in a little bit to show you. Okay, so now this is the Best Blend Forever Brush BBF, and it gives the absolute lightest coverage. So it was originally made for illuminator, so powder illuminator, which in the makeup world they call highlighters, but it's made to just sweep on that highlighter or illuminator very softly, a powder. However, the creator of this makeup used this side to do some artist makeup and so we've been trying it and we love it. So for me, the, the where I like to use this wispy end of this brush, so they're all so soft, is I take my candle and right here I have more texture and wrinkles but not a ton to cover. So I literally just feather that light color here to give just a light coverage where I don't want to accentuate texture and wrinkles and things. So see how light? It looks like I have no makeup on, but look how it just gave that coverage, but it doesn't even look like it's makeup. This is amazing. Okay, so this side, you can contour your nose with it. You can treat under your eyes and pay attention because <laughs> somebody's gonna win a brush. And if you don't want a brush, I'm going to give away this um, hack stack. So it's a double layered compact. Usually you have to buy eight products to get this for free, but I'm going to give this away if you don't want a brush. Okay. So you have an option, a compact or a brush. So pay attention. <laughs> if you're, if you want a brush, you want to know which one you want. Okay. This is really good for under the eyes. Um, you can spot treat with it, all kinds of things. You could contour under your lip with it all the things. Okay, so remember though, if you want to be entered to win, you need to like, share, and comment on the video. And if you share while I'm live, I always give two entries for people who are so kind to do that while I'm live. Okay, so this is also a good brush for, let's say you want a powder under your eyes, but you don't want a ton of powder under your eyes. You just want the lightest. I love giveaways too. It's so fun and celebrating my one year birthday for mascara. Okay, so if you want to powder under your eyes, but you don't want a lot, you can just lightly place your powder there and it won't even tug on that eye. So that's just another option. Hello, do and share and like for those. Yes, I'm giving away one brush or a compact, this particular compact right here. Let me open it so people can see it. And if you're watching the replay, you're included, of course. So, has a mirror there, and you can fit four large tins there or eight eyeshadows. And same thing, you've got a back layer. So, if you're in the in the market <laughs> for a compact, this one is so cute. I actually just bought myself one of these, but bigger because I I like this size for myself, but. This is a great size if you just want to get started or you just need a little extra room. Oh, I did? Okay. All right, so back to the brushes. The next one um, is the Detailed Hack. So this Detailed Hack is such a good brush. They actually created this for contour because it's got this flat side here. And so you can go right under the cheekbone. So you find your cheekbone. It's usually right here by your ear. You come down, you feel that bone. And right up underneath it, you can actually push that brush by laying product on the side like that. Or you can do it with this flat side and just kind of make it soft. But some people like that more chiseled look. And so you can do both with this. You can actually do your highlights. So I'm going to do that real quick and show you what that looks like. This is one of those brushes you can do everything with. Hey, Stephanie and Tina and Ashley and Tony. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so I'm taking June. I put a little bit on here and I'm just gonna go above where I put my contour first just to show you 
and this gives more of that medium coverage. So these brushes were all created to do multiple things. Everything's multi-use with Mascara Beauty. And then I'm just kind of feathering that down. So now you can see how you can actually use this for your hot, you can highlight your whole face, you can go into your eyes, you can do everything. And then with contour, I'll do, um, hey, Latanya. So I put the contour on the side of the brush. Let me get on there so you can see it. Okay, so you can see there's just a little bit of contour there. And so this is what I was talking about. If you want that more chiseled, it's going to create more of a line right there. And all of the brushes are double-ended, which is fabulous. And I'm gonna tell you, I went on Ulta's website and I found a brush just like this, one end. See how beautiful this is, rose gold double-ended for $36. One end like this, 32 at Ulta. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. These are extremely affordable. So the Buffy, $36. And like I said, this one's $36. This one's $36. And so is the one in my hand. They're all double-sided. So you get two in one, which is incredible. And the year warranty. I mean, come on. Okay, so you can do a that kind of a chiseled look to lift the cheekbone, and then you can blend it up with the side too. So I'm just softly kind of blending it. Or you can flip it over and blend it as well. Okay. All right, so you can do nose contour with the side. So that fits really nicely and on the side of the nose and you basically just hold it back here and glide it down ever so softly and it'll give you that contour or you can use this little side like a little pencil and do it and this is also really good for under the eyes this is good for spot treating good for right here where it's harder to get into those eyes so you can do everything with this hey laura hey taylor okay Thanks, so guys, thanks you guys for being here, I appreciate it. And sometimes I actually will take the end of this brush after I've done my eyeshadow and I'll just kind of swirl and blend everything in with this because it's kind of got that dome type. So it fits pretty good right here in that crease. All right, this is our original brush. This is what mascara came out with. It's called the 30 Second Hack. And this was the very, very first brush that they created. It's made to be fast. And if you uh, want to do everything, you can do everything with this brush as well. So I'll show you. I'm going to do, and you can use either end for highlight or contour. It's just preference. So I'm going to use this June, and this also gives more of a medium coverage, but you can make it a light coverage. It doesn't have to be heavy, but you have that option. So notice how I always start back here because I have larger pores here which means I don't wanna put a ton of product on pores. So I always start where the most product is, back here, and then bring it forward with whatever's left. And these brushes were made for these creams, so they're very dense, but the softest brushes you'll ever, ever feel. And they um, only need a tiny bit of product, so look at that the tiniest bit and unlike liquids you know how liquids seep down into brushes these are always clean through and through the only product you have is whatever's sitting on top you totally start on your cheeks <laughs> yeah i've learned over the last two years of using this that i cannot do that okay so and then you can also do let's do under eyes i'll just do a teeny bit because i only use a little bit under my eyes anyway and I usually use my sponge lately but I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit right here and show you how it fits really well in that corner and you can kind of stipple so you're not tugging so a lot of people like to do their whole highlight with this side and contour with this side um, I like going under my eyes with it but for highlighting and contouring I just like this side but like I said there's no right or wrong but I'll show you what that looks like. So I put some contour on there and I'm pinching it 
And again, I'm just gonna start at the top of my ear and I'm tapping. And because it's double-ended, I can just blend it softly out with the side and create that shadow. Very versatile, they do so much. All right, see if there's anything else on that one. Nope, that's it. And so with this one, I do press. I don't really swipe, I press, but you can try it out and see what works for your skin. Okay, this brush is called the Power Powder Brush, and I love it. Would Bella work for, Bella's, okay, so people get confused on Bella Bronzer versus contour. So contour creates a shadow. So see how that's kind of like a, um, a shadow there. It's more of a cool toned color. Bella's very warm and sheer. Wait, is that contour? I'm cracking up. <laughs> okay, so contour is, has coverage in it. So our highlights and our contours both have coverage. Bella does not have coverage. It's just a sheer, warm, gorgeous glow. I'm going to do it at the end because it's my favorite thing that we have. And so anyway, no, this is more, this is just accentuating the shadow I have to make that cheekbone pop. But don't use Bella as a contour. It's not a contour. But people do get confused about that. Okay, so this is the um, Power Powder Brush. I love this brush so much. I use it all the time. But you can actually highlight. Did you guys know you can highlight and contour with this brush too? So if I wanted to highlight with it, I would use this end and just start pressing. This is called June. And you can see that gives kind of a medium coverage too. Okay, forehead only for Bella. So you can um, put Bella wherever the sun would hit your face. So when you go out in the sun, you normally you get sun on the forehead, you get sun kind of up here on the tops of the cheeks. Um, I use it to blend everything together on my neck and chest. So you can use it, you can use it on your nose a little bit in the summer, kind of whatever you want to do. Okay. So I used the Power Powder Brush to do this highlight right here. But you can also, with this side, you can contour your nose with it. You can contour your cheeks with it. It fits nice underneath the jaw. You can contour with it. So this is another brush you could do all the things and powder your face. So what I like this side for, see how it's kind of like a flat, dense brush on the end? And I'll do this at the end. I, since I have larger pores here, I take my powder and I press like that. And then that powder goes into those pores and mattifies them so they're not standing out. <laughs> so it disguises my pores and I love it. This end for powder, you can see it's at an angle. I like to, if, in the summer, in the winter, I don't powder under my eyes at all. But in the summer, I can put a little bit on here and just press. It fits perfect under your eye and you don't have to do any tugging whatsoever. So it's awesome. Yes, good vibes for you, Tony. <laughs> okay, so if you're on and you want to be entered to win any of these brushes, you can pick whichever one you want. Um, if you win, then like, share, and comment on the video. And if you share while I'm live, you get two entries. I always do that because I love you and appreciate you so much. So... Okay, and don't forget, these all have one year warranty, you guys. These brushes, they're high quality professional brushes. They're not cheaply made at Walmart brushes that are gonna start, the bristles are gonna start falling out eventually. These are not like that at all I've had. So I've been a customer for Mascara Beauty for two years and I've never had to replace the brush. I've never had bristles fall out, none of that. And I do makeovers on people, so I use mine all the time. Okay, so let me quickly, let's see here. I'm just going to take this brush because I really like this Best Blend Forever for a light coverage. And I'm just going to go over my nose with it. And then I just kind of fan that right here. And then on my eyelids, I like the small side. And I just like to put my highlight here to neutralize all those colors going on in my lid and brighten up in that corner.
and a little goes a long way. So if you use mascara, tell the people. <laughs> you don't use much of this at all because creams are highly pigmented where liquid is mainly water. First ingredient's water. So you can get away with using a lot of liquid and everyone when they start with mascara uses too much because they're used to it, you know? So I just tap a little bit of product and watch how much, <laughs> look at that. Cream's the best, I'm serious. I've never used creams until this and I'll never go back to anything else. How do you use the eyeshadow brush for more than one color? Um, I'll show you, because I'm getting ready to do that. Definitely gonna do eyes next. Okay, and then for contouring the nose, let me show you. So I can't find my, um, it's called the Blend and Tap Brush. I don't know what I did with it. I don't, hopefully I didn't lose it in California. <laughs> the one you were using now. Oh, okay, so this one, this one I just put my contour, I mean my contour, my highlight on my eyes just to, I don't use this for eyeshadow, but you can. I have used it for eyeshadow before when I've been in a hurry and I've just quickly done an eyeshadow look with this, if that's what you mean. So you can put a color here, swirl it off, put a color here with this brush. I hope that answered your question. If not, just call me. <laughs> Okay, so I do have the eyeshadow everything brush. This brush is 18 bucks and it's double ended. It's the best brush you'll ever use for eyeshadow. It's long so you can swirl softly without tugging. And it's got this fluffy side and this more pencil dense side on it. I really, I like contouring my nose with this end of it. So I'll do that real quick and show you. So like, so you can see right here, there's two lines already there, two shadows on the sides of my nose. I'm tracing those. So all you're doing with contour is accentuating what you already have on your face and it gives it life and dimension versus flat. One color and then going back in with multiple colors, which no way, I <laughs> can't do it. I just can't. So if you ever watch YouTube videos of people doing crazy stuff. I, I've watched that too and I think, no, I just can't. I don't, I don't want to do all that makeup. This feels like you have nothing on your face and that's why I like it. So I start with a very little product and build if I need to. And I just kind of lightly fan it up there, but I'm going to blend, so don't worry. Don't you worry, I'm not leaving the house like this. And then you just kind of bring them together. I contour right here. It just kind of cuts it off. I really like my blend and tap for this too. I hope it's not gone forever. Okay. And then down the center, you can also use something like this. You can use the um, sponge. So this is what the sponge looks like after it's been wet and squeezed out. And this is what it looks like when it's dry. So you could actually take the tip of this. This is a good beauty tool that I wanna talk about. You can take the tip of this and drag that color right down the middle too. And then you can take your damp one and blend it out. So this is such a good tool. It's only $13 and it's amazing. You can blend, you can pick up excess makeup, you can um, put cream highlight on your cheeks with it. You can go down the center of it like I just did with the highlight color to contour it and brighten it a little bit. All that. If you want to use a brush, you can use a brush to bounce around and give that effect as well. But you don't wanna see a line from the side, so you can see it down the middle, but you don't see it from the side. And that's what you want. Okay, and I'll powder my nose, like I'll show you what I do with powdering. Hey, Tammy. Okay, Tammy, it's a giveaway day. So if you wanna be entered, just like, share, and comment. So 
So I love this power powder brush, just a powder like that. And I love being able to carry a setting powder in my compact. Okay, let's see here. So let me do blush real quick. And since nude is in my compact, this is what I'm gonna do. I like this brush so much. So you can use this brush for blush and bronzer because it's what it's called. You can use this side for blush. You can use this side for blush, whatever you want. I'm really liking this little wispy thing, this best blend brush because watch, I can just lightly, and I'm starting back here, tap it, and then smile and do a little bit right here. And then I can flip it, kind of clean up my contour. You can actually take a little bit of highlight and just chisel it and clean it up. So I love that I can just flip it over, do everything with it. So if you're somebody who has, <clears throat> and a lot of us do, have sun damage on our cheeks from all those years of sunning outside and burning our skin and getting spots and all that stuff, and you wanna cover that, <clears throat> and then you wanna go back and put your blush on, this won't mess it up which I like, because some of the brushes, like I was using this one, but when I did this with it, it was taking off what I just covered. So this little guy doesn't do that. So I'm literally, my hand's way back here, and I'm just tapping. If you don't have any damage there, you can swirl, whatever you wanna do. But I absolutely love this brush. And then I can flip it and clean up. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with this multitasker how you can spot treat. So this is, this is definitely a brush I use every single day. And if you wanna know the brushes I use every single day, I'll tell you. But this one, I love it for aligning my lips. I love it for applying eyeliner. You can use either end for eyeliner. Um, you can use the small end to like really go underneath the lashes. You can contour your nose with it and it'll give that perfect skinny line down the middle with your highlight and you can spot treat with it. So I just put like the tiniest bit on here and press the flat end. I'm just pressing that to cover. Pretty cool, right? And you can use the little end to cover too. So let's say you got like just this tiny little pimple or something and you want to cover it. You can just put that little bit of product there and flat in, just kind of tap. Magic. Yes, this brush is so good. This brush is $22, I think. So if this, this is good because <clears throat> if you don't want to double up on makeup, then you can just spot treat where you want with this. And I mean, the tiniest bit goes a long, long way. That one is my favorite. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys. My sister has been using the milk system for, I want to say it's been a month now. I can't even, be, I can't even believe how good her skin looks. I can't even believe it, it's so good. So I'm gonna share some before and afters eventually. We're gonna do that. Okay, let's switch to eyes real quick and jump into eyeshadow. <clears throat> you can also, this is our hotline brush. This is the last one I'm gonna show. This brush is so good. I mean, I can do my eyeliner with this. You can do your brows with this and get that flick and then it's got the spoolie end. But we're just gonna use this eyeshadow everything right now. And I was going to ask you guys, do you want me to do Never mind. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm just going to show you the simplest eyeshadow look. I just did it yesterday and I love it. And it was so easy. And I got Gold Digger in. So this is called Gold Digger. Oh my gosh, the names are so cool. Um, so this is Gold Digger. Look how pretty. And then this is Stay Golden. And this is Gilded. 
So those are the only three I'm gonna use. I'm gonna make this so easy. But if you want, if you want to put on your illuminator, so this is another good reason that I like this brush, is I can put my illuminator right here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do illuminator today. I'm just going to take a little bit of my candle lit highlight and just brighten that up right there. So you don't always have to use an illuminator. If you just put a little extra of your highlight color, you can lift and lighten that eye right there in that spot. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Just a little bit of product, fits perfect under that brow, and you still get that little lift. Okay, so here we go. This is how easy it is, <laughs> so easy. So I'm taking Stay Golden. Stay Golden is really pretty and it's 100% of it goes to foster care. So if you're looking to pick up an eyeshadow and you want to give to charity at the same time for $12, I don't get anything from it and the company doesn't get anything from it. And it's so pretty. And this is seriously gonna be the quickest look. So I'm using the fluffy end. Okay, hold on guys. Um, block. Done. I love this side because it's so soft and it really does all the work for you. Anybody else have this eyeshadow everything and love it? And if you're a mascara lover already, what's your favorite brush? Tell people what your favorite is. Some people on here are new to it and some people may only have one brush. Share with what you love. Okay, so that's Stay Golden. I'll zoom in a teeny bit. Hold on. Why are you not zooming? Ah, okay. So now you can see that color a little bit better. Okay, then on the lid, I'm taking <clears throat> Gilded, and Gilded's pretty dark right here. I usually use it on my outer corner, but not today. We're going to go for it. I'm going to put it all over. I'm putting it all over my lid and whatever's left, I'll just kind of feather it up into that stay golden. And then with my finger, taking that gold digger, there you go, eyeshadow done. <laughs> Can you believe that? And I love this color. It's not like the other golds that I have. It's definitely a different yellow that I love. So then on this side, same thing. And because this is so soft and dense, it just spreads it beautifully. I'm telling you, these brushes were made to do the work. You don't have to be a pro. I'm gonna close my eye, make sure I got all the spots in there. Okay, and then Put the comments back over, sorry. Do you love that eyeshadow? Which one, Stay Golden or Gold Digger Ash? So this is what I did for church yesterday. Look how fast that was. Ashley said hi to Kelly. Who's Kelly? <clears throat> well, hi, Kelly. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Super quick eyeshadow look. Good to go. Hi, Tina. All right, so if you guys are interested in winning a brush, just like, share, and comment. Maybe you share well and why if you get two entries. Okay, so now I'm just going to put on my eyeliner, 
And like I said, you can do it with a couple different brushes. So this is the multitasker. I like this end. I also like this end. Oh, the Stay Golden. Yeah, it really is pretty. And I like this end. This end just covers more territory <laughs> quicker. And I'm lazy. Let's just, let's just say it like it is. So I just really drag that across. Kind of flick a little bit out with my wrinkly eyes. Wings are getting harder to do, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. And then on the other eye, I'll show you the hotline. Okay, and then underneath my eye, <clears throat> I'm going to take that reddish color that I used, gilded, and put a little bit underneath. Just so you guys can get an idea. Okay, now I've gotta tell you guys something. It happened. It happened. This is what happened. <laughs> I moved up to the 3X side of the mirror. Yeah, basically like my mother all of a sudden. Okay, blocked him. So I was getting ready over the weekend and I had one of those mirrors. I sit at my table and do makeup in natural light <clears throat> and I had it flipped to the 3X side. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can see. So there you go. Proof I do need to go to the eye doctor and get glasses. Okay, so this little end is so good to go right under the lashes and deposit color. And then I'll just blend in a teeny bit of what's on this eyeliner side. There we go. Okay, and then I'll use the hotline for eyeliner on this side really quickly. So I, I can't even tell you Having your eyeliner in your compact, the bomb. So I like this because this stamps a wing for me. The difference, the reason why I don't use this as much is because it's more of a stiff brush. So it's <clears throat> it's not soft. Where this multitasker is extremely soft. So this one's more firm, it's a little rough. So I do love it for the little stamp thing I can do with it, but it's not my favorite for applying eyeliner. But like I said, you can do your eyebrows with it. So if you need one brush that does all of that, then you could do this one. Okay, and I'm not going heavy with eyeliner, that's it. Okay, I've been getting compliments on my eyelashes lately. <clears throat> and all I'm doing is what I did in that video last weekend. I just started using this and I've been getting compliments on my eyelashes for this. So it's making them look thicker, I guess. And I have some false ones that I'm going to be using soon. I just wanna practice with them more and do that. Okay, but before I move on to this really quickly, I'm going to do contour on my forehead. I didn't do it. <clears throat> and then Bella, so I can show you the difference. Okay, so this is contour. Looks like more of a cool tone shadow not warm and brown but adding dimension to my face at the same time but subtly and that's what i love about it contour doesn't have to be anything crazy it just chisels look how that just chiseled out that jaw And then you can feather it down. Okay, then Bella bronzer. 
It is very warm. And so you can you can kind of go over your, so this is just the contour, I'm just using what's left. So with Bella, you can just kind of lightly dust over that shadow and it doesn't change it, it just kind of warms up your skin. So the shadow is still there, but now I just have a little bit of warmth. So that's why Bella is so unique. It doesn't go on your face and completely change your look, it just enhances it a tiny bit and a little goes a long way. So I'm gonna, I'm going to show you on my neck. Keep y'all sister in the eyelash loop. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. So I start here with Bella and then just kind of feather it down and see how that just warmed up that whole neck. And then I use a little bit on my chest and I'm just putting a little bit at a time and just start moving it as soon as it hits your body. Just start moving it. Okay, Bella, amazing. Okay, so this is what I used. This, I got it, I realized, I got this at Target. It's called L'Oreal Voluminous Primer for your um, lashes, and watch. And you can see, like if I get up really close, look how it's already lengthening them like crazy. So last week, <clears throat> I did this in the car and I asked you guys which one because I did one eye with this and one eye without it and everyone said the eye with it looked fuller for sure. but I am still using the NYX on the rise. And I used to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and it is a good mascara, but this one lengthens as it thickens and the other one only thickens to me. So there you go. Hi, Natalie. Okay, again on this eye. And, and I've had a couple of people tell me they've used this and they love it. So there you go, look at that, that crazy look. You can see all that on there. So I was using, I'm using this primer, the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer Base. And then I'm just loving this one. I've been using it for, I don't know, eight months <laughs> on the rise by NYX in volume. And I've told so many people about it, everyone who buys it, and I've had so many of you buy it and you all say you love it. And it's super affordable. And I was using high-end mascara before this, and I don't even see a reason to. This is so good. I think this is starting to get old. I've, I've only had two tubes, but look at that, bam. I know, right? Well, this one does do everything really good. I just think that primer enhances it a little bit. All right, I'm just gonna do lips. And we're good. All right, I love this multitasker for lips. It's really amazing. And Honestly, I just swirl off before I use it for the next thing because because of the way the brushes are made, um, you can just take off what's right on the top because nothing seeps down in there. And even though it looks like there's eyeliner in there, it's not. It's just when I use my cleaner to come off, but nothing's coming off on the towel. 
Yeah, I'm excited for you to get it too. Tell me if you love it. All right, I'm using Indigo. I'm gonna have to swipe over the comments just for a second. Whoa, <laughs> 3D. This to me is like going to get your lips injected, I guess. Cause I just go right under my lip line And then because it's cream, I can just do this. And now it's like I just have this shadow under my lip. You can't even tell, but look how much fuller it looks. So again, I am so bad. I forgot to put a link in the description but I will when I get off. And so you can check out any of these products that speak to you. <laughs> and if you wanna be color match, need help with that, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you, I'm here to color match you and help you on your journey in this amazing makeup. Okay, this is called Sadie. And I love it, it's like this glossy, perfect neutral. But then I can also put on, this is called Sunshine State. And add a little bit of Sunshine State on top. And I love it. <clears throat> yes, for sure. Okay, what was I gonna tell you guys? There was something else I was gonna say and I forgot. Oh, so really quickly, the last thing I'm gonna show you <clears throat> is I'm going to do my under eyes with a dry perfector sponge this I love this so I have aura on here Aura is a shade lighter than my overall color and I just love using this sponge for this when it's dry and I just kind of go both directions I've been told that if you go both directions it's less creasing. For lips. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even able to read most of these comments. At the, I'm sorry. But I will go back. Okay. So look at how much brighter that looks than that. But it doesn't look cakey. Like, let me get close. Look. Not cakey at all. And I'm just putting a little just amount on there and just rocking it back and forth, pressing, not swiping. Don't swipe, just press. And then taking it down the side of my nose. And then I always use my finger to just press it. That's just my habit. Just to make sure that I don't have too much under there. And I, that used to be my biggest struggle, you guys. That was my biggest struggle. And I'm turning 48 this year and starting about three or four years ago, getting makeup in my creases was the biggest problem for me. It would look good when I first did it, but I was using a liquid. And by, I don't know, by the time I had a conversation and laughed and smiled and moved my eyes, I had lines everywhere. And you couldn't move it. That's the bad thing about traditional foundation versus cream foundation. Cream moves with your face. And if you see like a little bit in a wrinkle, you can just go like that and it's gone. But a liquid, because it's water, it sucks into there and it's like locked in <laughs> and it's not going anywhere. So I love the ability to manipulate it. So there you go. Okay, so here are the brushes. <clears throat> and you can choose if you win. So please don't forget to like, share, and comment. These are all the gorgeous, look how beautiful they are. Just look at them, they're rose gold, gorgeous brushes. And you can choose which one you want, or if you already have brushes and you're not interested in getting another one because you have them all or whatever, then you can choose this compact, this little hack stack, which is beautiful. Thank you guys <clears throat> for being on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for making this such a fun year as my first year as a mascara beauty artist and now we're rolling into a new year and I just wanted to give back 
and I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Bye.